Hello guys and welcome, it is that SRB2 dude here today bring you yet another Splatoon 2 video because I would like to never hear this particular question ever again. How do I go against Clash Blasters? Yes, out of all weapons, the Clash Blaster. Not a Ten Attack, not a Rapid Blaster, not a regular Blaster. Clash Blasters. Now a lot of people have been asking me over the months of how I go against Clash Blasters when I see them in battle. First things first, we gotta look at what the Clash Blaster is capable of doing. It has very, very short range. It is a four shot kill if you hit via radius, and it's a two shot if you get two direct hits. Now I think why people get really frustrated over the Clash Blaster is because of how good its suppression can be at close range. So at times where you're just kind of looking around and you don't expect the Clash Blaster to pop up on you, people tend to freak out on that and say, oh my god, it's so overpowered because of how the fire rate works and how much suppression it actually is doing. But that's the thing. The Clash Blaster is only good at suppression and thrives off good positioning and timing. If the Clash Blaster walks towards you and starts blasting, it is most likely not going to kill you. Reason being is because the Clash Blaster is not that great when walking and approaching its enemies. Due to its slow kill time and lack of range, it makes it very hard to walk up towards people that know that you are approaching. So basically, here's what you want to do. If you see a Clash Blaster shooting in your de general direction and you they can't exactly reach you, I'm going to tell you now, do not confront the Clash Blaster. Now, if you put suppression to account with this, once you're walking up to the Clash Blaster, if you are a short range weapon, and you cannot reach your enemy opponent, the thing is, is that you're going to be taking more damage before you can actually get any hits onto the other person. Therefore, you do not want to confront them like this. If you're a longer range weapon in this situation, you just want to be able to get in within range of the Clash Blaster, where it's not hitting you, but you're able to hit the person that's holding the Clash Blaster. Basically, if they start moving forward, you want to start moving back. If they start moving back, you want to start moving forward. Now, what if this situation happens where the Clash Blaster is right next to you and immediately gets to jump on you? Now, in situations like this, just immediately retreat. Do not even attempt to fight the Clash Blaster if they're right up close to you. Just immediately retreat, get out of there. Reason being, again, is because of how slow the Clash Blaster can kill. So with that being said, there should be enough time for you to actually escape the situation. The only times would be when the Clash Blaster gets a direct on you or two directs. But honestly speaking, that's not the easiest thing to do with a Clash Blaster. In fact, it's probably one of the harder weapons in the game to actually get a direct hit with. By doing this, you can then basically reset the whole situation where the Clash Blaster is about five meters away from you, out of range of hitting you, and then figuring out a way of how you can get within range of the Clash Blaster to be able to get your hits on them. Another more risky way to take on a Clash Blaster if they get the jump on you is to push where their inkling is. What I mean by this is that, of course, it's a blaster, so it has the same characteristics and same weaknesses as most blasters do. So one of the biggest weaknesses that blasters usually have is that when the opposing inkling has pushed you so close where they can't really get their radius hits on you, it makes it so that inkling that pushes cannot take any damage because of the blaster's projectile passing uh, the opposing squid every single time. Now, of course, this is risky, so if the player is really good and they can get the two directs on you, then, you know, that's that's basically the situation done. That's how the Clash Blaster can counter it. But to make it harder, you could push towards their Inkling and try to get behind the body of the Inkling. With that, you're basically forcing the Clash Blaster to perform a 180, which isn't, of course, the easiest thing to do every single time. Therefore, you're making them play your game and making it really awkward for them to actually try to get the hits on you. But it shouldn't last that long. Like, if you pushed up that far next to the player's inkling, then you should be able to secure the kill depending on what weapon you have, of course. Now, I think all of this information that I've given you guys can be very, very helpful to all you going against Clash Blasters and such. And I feel like once you put this into these situations, and once you put it into your gameplay, of course, then you're going to realize how easy it is actually just to avoid a Clash Blaster and always being able to outplay them. So with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both of you for feeling generous. As always, guys, this has been that SRB2 dude. Shall see you guys in a future video.